Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hart Hartman, and joining me now in the studio is Dr. Bruce Kintz. He's president and CEO of Concordia Publishing House, and he's here to tell us a little bit more in case you don't know about this international uh, non-for-profit business, we'll say, here in St. Louis. We're going to tell you about it. So let's talk about what is Concordia Publishing House. Well, Concordia Publishing House is uh, the 143-year-old publishing arm of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. And uh, we've always been in St. Louis, and we were started initially to serve the church in all of its schools with curriculum and periodicals and all sorts of good resources relative to our Christian faith. I think it's important to point out, though, that it's not just specific to the Lutheran denomination. That's true. While that's our primary customer, if you will, all of the churches and schools within our synod, uh, we serve well beyond the Lutheran Church, all denominations, in fact, worldwide. And in addition to publishing, they also operate a bookstore? Yes, we have a bookstore in the building. It's also historic. It's been there a long time. In fact, it was there when I was a kid, Aww. living in the neighborhood and, and going there myself. So yes, it's there and available to folks. But as you know, these days, the majority of our business is done on the web. That's a truth. Yeah. So yeah. we'll make sure to give you that website yeah. before we before you leave out of here. We'll make sure we give yeah. that to our viewers. Um, important, most importantly, um, in addition to being a success here in St. Louis, you guys are being recognized at the White House. Well, that's what we're told. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we uh, we have been on a journey. We call it the quality journey for a long time, well over a decade, and uh, the quality journey revolves around improvement competitiveness, focusing on our customers and focusing on our employees. And so this journey that we've been on has finally been judged, uh, you know, not just adequate, but above average as far as companies go. Tell us about the award itself. Sure. Well, the award is based on criteria and the criteria, for, there's seven different areas within that criteria. And it's named after the Commerce Secretary that uh, worked with Ronald Reagan in the 80s. His name was Malcolm Baldridge. Okay. And Congress enacted the Malcolm Baldridge Act in 1987, I think, and uh, set forth seven areas of criteria that uh, allow a company be, to be judged. So things like leadership, strategic planning, uh, uh, customer focus, uh, how we measure what we do, uh, our operations and results, and naturally our workforce focus, which is chief among those seven criteria. I'm glad that you pointed that out because mm -hmm. since the 80s, there have been fewer than 100 recipients of this award, so it's quite a feather in your cap. And that workforce focus key component, I know that our viewers are going to be interested in hearing about what the Concordia Publishing House does to focus on their workforce. So we're going to come back with that, and we're going to have you talk a little bit more about that. In the meantime, if you'd like more information about Concordia Publishing House, you can visit them online at their website. And don't go anywhere. There's their website, cph.org. You can reach out through their 800 number as well, 800-325-3040. They are located on South Jefferson. They're a nice anchor in the community, and we'll talk with Dr. Kins more about that when we come back. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or watch us streaming all of our programming live on stltv.net. We'll be back with more right after this.